Hi Dev Bootcamp, my name is Ryan Postumus and this is my application video. In this video I want to take the opportunity to teach everybody the basic knit stitch. That's right, how to knit with continental knitting. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm going to bend the camera down here a little bit so you can get a better view of what's actually going on. So if any of you have a history of knitting or know much about it, you know there's different types of knitting, just like there are different types of programming. Each one is slightly different. Another very common way to knit is called English knitting, and that version, the yarn, comes in the right hand, and the right hand is used more than the left hand. I happen to be left-handed, so that's why I chose to use continental knitting. Really, it's just personal preference in the end, they both end up with the same result. So, in order to do our first stitch, we need to know how to hold the yarn and how to hold the needles. To do that, you want to take the left pinky finger and either wrap the yarn around like so, or simply pinch the yarn between the pinky and the ring finger. Again, that's just personal preference. I tend to just pinch it, where a lot of people will wrap it because they feel it gives them more control and more tension. Whatever you like to do, test it out. It's up to you. Once you figure out what works best, pinch the yarn and then drape it over the back of the three remaining fingers on the left hand. When you do that, you want to just grab that left needle in between the thumb and the four fingers. And this is the basic position of the left hand with continental knitting. Now with the right hand, we're actually going to be creating the stitches. So to do the knit stitch, which is what we're going to demonstrate here today, you want to come in front of the first stitch right here on the left hand. Come in front of that stitch on the left side and from the front. So we're going to go from the front left through to the back. So I hope you got a good view of that. Come in front of that first stitch on the left from the front and go through to the back. Once you're in the stitch, you want to scoop the thread or the yarn that's coming from the left forefinger and pull it forward and that's your first knit stitch. So to do that again slowly, come in front of that first stitch on the left side and push the needle through to the back. Once it's through, you want to grab that yarn and pull it underneath the loop to the front, like so. So a little bit quicker, come in front left push it through, and then scoop the yarn forward. Once you get comfortable, you'll notice that there's a very fluid motion that takes place, but that takes quite a bit of practice, so don't get discouraged if you're not going that quickly at the, front, at the beginning. Really just concentrate on where your hands are, what's comfortable to you, and the basics of the stitch. Getting that needle through the thread, and then pulling that yarn forward, that will take the most practice. Once you get the hang of it, you can go a little bit quicker and finish off the rest of that row. Once we complete a row, the only thing we have left to do is we just need to transfer the needles back to the left hand. So you notice all my completed stitches are here on the right. I need to get them back into my left hand. To do that, you just turn the needle around, bring it forward, and grab it with the same position of the left hand, and then just use your right hand to grab the free needle again. And we're right back in the position where we start. Move that yarn to the back, and we're right back in knitting position. And that's the basics of how to do a knit stitch in continental knitting. I hope you guys learned a lot.